Hello and welcome to my channel. This will be my seventh update for my Pandos eyeshadows. Unfortunately, I got sick last month uh, with COVID and I didn't want to put any makeup on my face when I was sick. So I haven't used makeup for about half of last month. So my progress isn't that good. But I have hit one pan. So I will have one rollout and get to roll in another shade. And I hope that I be able to have more progress this month. So I'm sorry that this update was late. It's because I was sick in the end of the month and that's why I also sound a bit weird. I think I, my voice sounds a bit scratchy at the moment. First I will show you the color story that I had last month which was this. It's a lot of pinks and one silver blue, which I have on my eyes today. So I really hope not to get any more pinks because I've been going through a pink period with only pinks for a long time now. And I look forward to getting some other shades. So the first one, the first, the one who's been in the project longest is from the Magic Mini by Juvia's Place. And it's the shade Ozone. I think it's called Ocean, and I hit pan in it. It wasn't quite as deep, the pan, as I thought, but it took a lot of uses, and I hit pan on my 19th use. So this one will be rolling out. Then I have my Sigma Untamed palette. It's like this, and I have the shade Spirit, which is this shade. I've been using it mostly as an inner corner, um, inner corner highlight, but there's a small dip starting to form. And I've used this total of 12 times, and but only two times in the last month. So if I re keep up my makeup usage and use this as an inner corner highlight, I hope to be able to roll this one out next month. Uh, but Hopefully I will hit pan before I hit 20 uses. Then I have my Colourpop My Little Pony palette. And I have the shade Blossom, which is this. Um, and I've used this two times last month. And I don't really see... There's maybe a small, small dip. Not that big. Uh, so this one will probably be in for 20 uses. But... It's good to get some use out of this palette because this is my oldest palette. And I can also, because my lid setting shade, it, I emptied that pan in my Panda palette. So I've been using this shade uh, combined with this orange or this shade to make another lid setting shade. So that one will also be in for another month. Then I have my Blue Moon palette from Colourpop and the shade Billie Jean, which is uh, silver. It looks like silver here, but it's more of a pale blue silver. And I didn't use it at all last month, but I've used it today. So I have that one in my inner, uh, inner half of my eyelid. Together with the shade Moonlight is the blue over here. And then I have this pink and this purple, this one is a Franken shade by me, on my outer corner and in my crease. And then lastly, I have my Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. And it's the shade Joy, which is this one, which is starting to form a small dip. And that's the shade I've used on my outer half of my lid. And I really enjoy it. It's a really nice pink shade. So I'm happy to have this in the project and it also got me to use more of this palette. I'm not that impressed with the mattes. I haven't tried the brown mattes, but the pink mattes are kind of lackluster. But I really enjoyed the different shimmers in this palette. So that means I will roll in another shade. Because I have two shades from Colourpop already in this project, I don't want to roll in any other Colourpop um, Colourpop palettes. I've taken them out of my Pandos Eyeshadow spreadsheet for this month, just so I don't roll them in accidentally. 
at the moment I have bet I have the numbers between two and four hundred and forty six because the f number one in my spreadsheet is just a header. So I will randomize. Let's see. Three hundred and eighty. Okay, it's the Beauty Bay uh, Nikki Tutorials palette. I'll be right back. So it was the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette. Uh, and it's the shade Aura, which, oh, this one is hard to pull up, uh, which is this orange shade, this one. So I will swatch them out for you, my new color story, and I'll be right back. So this one is my new color story. These ones are really similar, but I think it's okay because this one is much more impactful. So, and this one I usually just use on my lower lash line. So, I'm kind of happy, at least it's not a pink, even though it's kind of a red shade. Uh, but this will be my color story for this month. And I hope you subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!